Hey y'all, thanks for deciding to hang out with me today on this video. In case you're wondering why you're looking at a picture of my hand, namely the picture on the right, which is very swollen. The other day while I was doing DIYs for this video, um, I unknowingly grabbed a hold of a wasp that was hiding under the latch of my shed door. Um, it's been very swollen. It, it, it hurts. I've never had a reaction like that before. So I did want to get this cute DIY out to you guys today. So here we go. Now the first thing you're going to need is a jar. It can be any size. I chose to go big or go home. So I'm using this uh, one gallon pickle jar. And I'm giving it two coats of the apple barrel paint in warm buff. Don't worry about going all the way to the top of your jar because we're going to attach some decorations and put on her hat. Now, I thought the warm buff color was perfect for a, the skin tone of a scarecrow. Um, this next part is, it, it takes the longest, but it's, it's really no big deal. I got this raffia from a Hobby Lobby. It came in a three pack and I thought this color really matched the color of fresh baled straw. Um, as a kid growing up on a farm, I mean, my granddaddy, you know, he baled straw, he baled hay. And, um, this to me just really looked pretty darn close to straw color. So you're just going to glue that all the way around for the scarecrow's hair. Now I'm using a piece of burlap to make her hat but it was a little wide, so I just folded it in half and just used some hot glue to seal it shut along the edges. Just be careful when you're doing that. Use something to press it down with, like a little silicone spatula or something. Next, you're going to glue her hat around the top of the jar, just using some hot glue. And I put the creased edge of the burlap to the top, just like you see here. And you're just going to glue that all the way around. And this also helps hold in the hair. Now, as I turn it around, you'll see she kind of looks a little sparse in the hair department in the back, but don't worry. I go back and add in some more hair for her because, you know, us women, we don't like to have that bald look going on. Now, as you can see, I gave her some bangs, and y'all, this hair on this scarecrow, as a dog groomer, it's giving me fits. I just want to go in, make it all even, straight, and pretty, but she is a scarecrow, so she's not supposed to be perfect. Now, I tore a piece of fabric there in that uh, plaid print and put that around the base for hat. Then I took a piece of floral foam and hot glued it just inside the mouth of the jar, and that's going to hold our flowers, and it just fit perfectly in there. You can use whatever kind of flowers you want. I'm choosing some maple leaves, some wheat stems, uh, I believe, some yes, some burlap sunflowers, and the hop bushes from the Dollar Tree. But you use whatever you like, whatever fits your decor, go for it. I want to really, really thank y'all for being with me here on this YouTube journey. I appreciate each and every one of you that has subscribed and commented. Um, it, I hope you get inspiration from what I do. I'm a new channel, but you know, I've come, I've come so far in just four months that I've been on YouTube, and I appreciate y'all so, so much. You encourage me to keep going, and I truly hope that I inspire you in some small way 
to get out there and, and get creative. Do your own thing. Try something new that you've never done before. But if you are enjoying what I'm doing, I would so appreciate you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Are you tired of seeing fall DIYs? Are you ready for something else? Um, I basically work for y'all. So let me know in the comments what kind of videos, what, what would you like to see me do? Now, I'm stepping totally out of my comfort zone on this. I have never drawn a scarecrow face before. So I just Googled it, saw a few pictures, and kind of came up with my own version. Now, for the eyes, I just drew two little ovals there. And I am using a paint pen. I get better control with a marker you may be able to with a paintbrush, not me. Now for the nose, I didn't want it really pointy. So I rounded off the edges there. Give her a cute little nose. And then the mouth was easier than I thought. I'm just like, I'm going to go for it. I, I didn't trace it out with a pencil or anything. I just went for it. So some little smile lines and then just squiggle just a squiggly little mouth like it was stitched on there. And that's all there was to that. Pretty simple. Now I'm just giving her eyes a little definition, just brightening them up. And I'm just using some apple barrel white paint to do this and paintbrush because my white paint pen died a few weeks ago or I'd have been using that. You know, I actually, I, I love drawing these faces. I like I said before, I've never tried it before, but it's, it's really kind of fun. You can just make them look however you want them to look. Well, when it came time to paint the nose, I thought a candy corn nose would be super cute. Now, I just want to say, I personally hate eating candy corn. I, ew, it's just so sicky sweet, but I, I think it's cute. Like if I see a decor piece or something, I like looking at it. I just don't like to eat it. So how many of y'all love candy corn? Is it, do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know below. I, I'm curious. Because me and my husband both, we hate it. <laughs> so I'm just using some white acrylic paint um, from Apple Barrel. And then for the yellow, I'm using King's Gold. And I'm really digging this color of yellow. I really, really like it. And then for the orange part, I'm using Pumpkin by Waverly. So she looked like she was missing a little something. So I wanted to give her some little cheeks, but I didn't think pink would really fit her. So I just mixed some pumpkin with some nutmeg brown and came up with the color that I liked. And with that, 
our little scarecrow floral arrangement is done and i think she is adorable y'all let me know what you think of this diy in the comments and i want to thank each and every one of you for being here with me check me out on instagram or facebook and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time, y'all go get your craft on.